Today we're going to talk about making custom brushes in Blender from brushes that you use in Photoshop or GIMP or any other program like that. So I have these four brushes here that we'll use as an example. Alright, first off you need to make sure that when uh, you're making the brush it has to be white, otherwise it won't change color, it has to be white. So make sure that the background is transparent on all of these, and you save it as a PNG so it is alpha, so I'll go ahead and save all these out. And now I'm in Blender, uh, make sure you have this add-on turned on through your painting options, I'm going to load brush directory. It's a good idea to keep your brushes in the Blender folder that from your installation on your C drive or wherever it's kept. So I'm going to go ahead and load those four brushes and you'll see here if I go to texture I can click on that and there's all my brushes. So I can go ahead and click on that one but we have a problem. It's tiling. We don't want it to tile, we want it to look like it does in Photoshop. So here's what you do. You change it from tiled under brush mapping to viewplane. That's all you have to do to get started there. Now the problem is, is it always stays the same angle. So we want to make sure that it follows with our the angle that we're using our pen or our mouse with. So we change that to rake. Um, a few things we need to change you know, under stroke and curve. Make the curve hard. The curve needs to uh, be hard because the softness, we don't want it to fade out at the end. We want it to look like the actual brush. Now, the, the stroke, under stroke, I'm changing the percentage down to 5 or, or lower percent so that it's much closer together. However, this is kind of intensive on your computer depending on uh, your system, especially the lower number you go. So the jitter is like the scatter. Uh, that's the number right below spacing. It's like the scatter in Photoshop, so I'm just going to mess with that a little bit and, and see what we can get until I get something that I like. lower that spacing a little bit. It's all about just playing with these options, these different options that I've just told you about, until you get something that you're happy with. You can change the angle um, of the image itself so you can get a different look. So I'm going to name that and you push the plus next to the brush and then it'll keep all those settings that you had, you just change the image uh, so we'd have less set up for us to do. We can just change those options, the spacing, the jitter, um, and we want to leave the hardness the same. Change the angle until you get something that you like. So I'm just going through and I'm changing those options. Uh, it's just a sped up version. Um, you don't need to sit there and watch me change the things all the time. Okay, so what I did there was I turned on smooth stroke. Um, so if you have your spacing low and it's hard on your system, you just turn on smooth stroke and that'll go right in for you. All right, well, that's how you create your own custom brushes based on brushes in Photoshop or GIMP or whatever. Uh, please subscribe and share with your friends if you thought this was helpful. Thank you.